It was billed as a win for St. Louis, settling with the Rams for leaving the city of Los Angeles. But with the Rams now just one win away for the Super Bowl, some are questioning whether it was the right call. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. Just over two months have passed since the $790 million settlement was announced. As Five on Your Side's Holden Kerwicki reports, there are still questions about who signed off on this deal and where the money is going. As the ink dries on the $790 million settlement between St. Louis, the NFL, and Rams owner Stan Kroenke, Alderman Joe Vaccaro says something about it still doesn't sit right. I don't know that we beat the league. I mean, he's, you know, he comes out way ahead. That, that money he's given us is, for him, is chum change. With that in mind, when you first heard about the settlement, were you happy with it? I, you know, happy with the settlement, a uh, little concerned that we weren't included in anything. This is a statement that has been echoed by members of both city and county government. The Board of Aldermen has been left out of it. According to the mayor's tweet, she's clueless also, and I, I, I find that very shocking and disappointing. I've confirmed St. Louis County Executive Sam Page was briefed on the status of the suit, but the county charter gives the county attorney the ability to settle civil suits without the board signing off. I mean, it was a private group suing. While it's unclear if city attorney Sheena Hamilton has the same blanket power, some are questioning if she had a conflict of interest since she was a partner at Dowd Bennett, the private firm leading the suit, just two months before the settlement. On the surface, I would say it would look inappropriate. That would, you know, whether there's a conflict or not. The attorneys involved declined comment since the agreement was made during a mediation, which is confidential in Missouri. But that's not stopping Vicaro from asking where the money went in the first place. Even up to right now, we don't know where the money's at, where it's going. And certainly we believe that we should have a lot of say in it. The Board of Aldermen should have a lot of say in it. In St. Louis, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. Spokesman for the city of St. Louis told Five on Your Side that the money is in a trust, but he couldn't provide any other details about its status as attorneys for the city, county, and the Regional Convention and Sports Complex Authority continue negotiations on how to split up the settlement.